Basics Math Prodigy, this is Coach Stifle with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to move on to Primary 6 Foundation Math question number 3 for the assessment paper number 1. So, let's go through this right now and kick this out of the window. And the question is, question number 3, it says a shop has curds in 3 different colours, yellow, black and blue. Oh, actually yellow, blue and black. The pie chart below shows the proportion of skirts in each colour. O is the center of the circle, and AOB is its diameter. Why does that? Why is that important? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, A, which colored which colored shirt does the shop have the most? That's the first question. Very easy to see. And B, the shop has one hundred and twenty yellow skirts. So, how many skirts does the shop have all together? All right, let's do question number one. Let's kick this out of the window right now. And the question for the answer for part A, okay, is very simple. I bet you got it right. Because you are a math prodigy. <laughs> I'm gonna draw the ugliest circle in the world right now. Huh, I told you. <laughs> okay, let's just see. In order for you to understand um, how to do this kind of questions, just take a look at a pie. So let's imagine this is a pie or a roti prata or whatever you want. Okay? And let's say in this case, like they said, um, how many of it? Half of it, right? is black, I think. Let me check it. Half is black, correct. Half is black. One third is blue and one sixth is yellow. So let's draw this properly. One third and one sixth is yellow. Okay? So in this case, <clears throat> all you have to see to, to, to know which um, one is actually the most is just see which has the biggest portion. Or in other words, which has the color. Uh, if you were to shade these colors, uh, these parts, which one would have the biggest shaded part? So in this case, this is half, right? This is one third. And this is one sixth. So just by looking at it, you can tell straight away that half is actually the most. And what does that correspond to? What does that equal to? That actually equals to black shirts. So the answer is very simply, you can just write it down, black shirts. Right? Very simple. Good job. Okay, black shirts. Now here comes the second part. Now, this one is very typical of all PSLE foundation math questions, okay? So, it says the shop has 120 yellow skirts. How many skirts does the shop have all together? Okay. So, let's look at this again. The shop over here, I'm just going to circle this for you. The shop over here has 1 over 6 yellow skirts, okay? It has 1 over 6 yellow skirts. And it is also equal to how many? The question says 120. So 1 over 6 equals to 120. So the question is, how many how many skirts does the shop have all together? Doesn't matter what color it is, doesn't matter if it's blue, black, or yellow. How many shirts does the uh, skirts or the shirts? <laughs> how many skirts, sorry, how many skirts does the shop have all together? So in this case, right, 1 over 6 represents 1 6 of the pie or the roti prata, or whatever you want to call it, okay? So what is everything? Correct, everything goes to one whole. And one whole equals to how many? Parts 6 over 6, okay? Or you want to call it, um, if you want to take it in this point, I mean, it means 3 over 3. If you want to call it, in this, in this terms, you call it 2 over 2, but all it equals to is actually one big whole. But in this case, since we know 1 over 6, isn't it easier for us to just multiply it by 6 because it's 6 over 6? So 1 over 6 is 120. So 6 over 6 equals to what? In other words, 1 unit equals to 120. 6 unit equals to 120 times 6, which equals to 720 skirts. And that is the answer. Okay? So let me ask you a question. Let's say they ask you what is 1 third. In other, what, in other words, what is the number of blue shirts? If 1 6 equals to 120, what is 1 third equals to? Ah, now you have to make the bottom what? The same in fractions. So 1 third is also equals to what? Okay, this is a little brain teaser for you, okay? So 3 times what gives you 6? The answer is 2. And you must be four. You must be fair to the person on top, so you multiply it by two as well. One times two gives you two. Three times two gives you six. Therefore, in other words, they are asking you if 
1 6 is equals to 120, what is 2 6? So in this case, all you have to do is multiply this by 2 and you will get 240. Okay, very simple stuff. Okay, with that, remember, all we have to do to conquer these kind of questions is to practice. Yes, the more I practice, the easier it gets. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off with you, are a math prodigy. Good job.